In a world that has known peace amongst its land for millennia, the continents are suddenly thrust into war when a son usurps his father's throne seeking to annihilate anything that stands in his path on his quest for world domination. Follow our vagabond adventurers as I, Vandal Zero, guide them through an Aetherpunk-inspired world as they take on an empire, hold off otherworldly forces, and bring peace back to an afflicted land. Let's go to war. As two uh, bipedal animal looking things, excuse me, uh, yelled, <laughs> Get him, boy! No, oh, he did say boys! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> He's got that Jersey accent, just like fart sack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they start walking towards you, and you notice them both stop. And kind of like look at each other, and then you see this purple energy shoot through each of their chests, and they fall limp and fall to the floor. Standing behind them is Keltan. Keltan, nice. Uh, he has two purple blades popping out of his wrists. Love this guy. And he goes. I've taken care of these ones. You should probably work about the rest of the ship. And you see the purple retract into his arms. And he turns around, puts his hands behind his back, and starts heading to the lower levels. Dude's the coolest. Okay. Were there any other explosions that we heard? Or is it just that one, like, entry point? It was... You don't You don't know where the entry point is. Yeah. Okay. You just know that there was an explosion. The ship doesn't seem to be moving, but is still in the air. Like, you don't feel the... Like, you know how when you're in a car, but you're not buckled in, you feel like you're moving? But when you buckle uh, in, you don't feel like you're moving? Yeah. So, so, in are we in the hallway right now? You are in the hall. You are in a hallway, yes. A hallway, okay. You are not in the room. You have run from the room corridors. You are in a... a hallway on that level still so there are three levels below you uh and two levels above you one being the on top of the actual ship like on the ship okay. um, but the level above you is like command deck and the bridge oh hey guys what's okay. going on <sighs> what, so what, are, oh. yes. <laughs> what are those <laughs> What do they, what do they need, look like? What do they look go... like? Are there bodies there? Uh, Sorry. Give me an investigation I'm just trying to understand check. the scene. Okay. Or uh, you can give me a survival check. Me? If you are proficient in survival. 22! Okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, 19. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of them is uh, very like grayish fur with blackish dots and he has like a big mane and his face comes to kind of a boxy he looks like a like a bipedal uh hyena and the other one is 
of a, a darker brown color, but has like black dots as well, and also looks like a hyena. Do I know what you they two are? would know these as gnolls? Gnolls. Hmm. We should probably get to the deck. <clears throat> I don't know if it's like on the deck. I think it's like in throughout the whole thing. Would I know how intelligent gnolls are in general? Um, I can tell you, they're probably you hunting would, packs, so I mean, I'm sorry. You would know that they're not <laughs> incredibly smart by themselves, but in groups they tend to be a little bit smarter. So I guess what I'm trying to figure out is this question for the group, because we wouldn't know, but uh, like, would they be trying to take the ship? Well, here's the thing. If they're trying to take the ship, uh, we should probably go to the top because that's where you pilot the thing. That's what I'm thinking. If, you know, if they're trying if you to go take to the, the engine ship, room. we need to get to the helm. Yeah. We also need to uh, not let them sabotage the engine, so maybe we split? Well, don't forget, no. no? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you don't do that. No, we're not splitting the party. No. I'll, take um, off, I'll take off my hat. Malcolm pulls out his little... Uh, button to marguerite he presses the button uh marguerite what's the status up there uh she replies uh shakily and kind of like she's out of breath but not like she's panting a couple made it in here we're fine uh jerry Pushed him back, and Annette's up here guarding the door. Uh, one. We're going. Down. Jeff's hurt. Yeah. Jeff's no. Hurt. Excuse me. But we have we have this blocked off. I'm doing my best to heal him. Let him know that as soon as we make sure the top is secure, that I'll be down and I'll I'll, oh. I'll fix his boo boos. The bridge is sealed off. Oh. So oh, they can't cool. get in here. All right, but they're so trying to come in. It is. Uh, as she says, they're trying to come in through. You just hear it. It's silent now. You don't Fuck. hear anything anymore. So it sounds like we're going to the bridge. Yeah, like, yep. Probably. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we we're going to, to the bridge. That's primary. If it's a hijacking, yeah. I grab Malcolm and I throw him up on the shoulders and we get start hauling. No, nope. you don't need to. Grab oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a. Weird question. Mm -hmm. When we're going between these hallways and rooms and shit, is it like normal sized doors or is it just kind of open? So the the hallways themselves are open and like doorways connecting to other hallways are open. Like there's not a door in between each hallway. Okay. There are doors on the side. And if you have to go up, there's like a doorway at the top of the stairs, or if it's a ladder, there is a, a hatch to close it off. Okay. You do hear continuous fighting throughout, but it doesn't sound like uh, it sounds like the fighting is more focused below you than above you. But you do hear some fighting. There's not a lot, but it sounds like more of the fighting is down. That's what I thought. I thought the fighting all was down below us. I thought that she said that Annette was holding down the fort, and I trust Annette. Yep. So I don't think we yeah, need to go up to the bridge. The... Okay, maybe Tom just send, send a message as we're on our way down, just so we know what we're walking into once we head back up. Ooh. Can oh, to. Six seconds. <laughs> uh, to Marguerite. Dip Just down, to... Or Marguerite's up. up. Yeah, Marguerite's oh, in the okay. bridge. It's sealed off. It sounds like maybe we're heading down to the engine first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or the lower levels. So, I don't actually know where Yeah, the low... Oh, so we're going to head down to the lower levels. Just send a message to, to Marguerite asking her if it's all right. Comms got cut off. We just want to make sure she's not actively being murdered right now. Yes. Thumbs went down. Just making sure you guys are okay. One word. 
Um, <laughs> we are headed down to the lower, the lower, the lower deck. If there's anyone you might send it. <laughs> There's no way that was six seconds. Yeah. <laughs> like We're okay seconds. for now. There is something trying to come through the roof, but they are having a rough time if you're doing something below. All right. We don't have forever, but we got time. All right. Go clear There's out the something bottom. trying to get through the There's something trying to get through the roof. I immediately, I don't care. I immediately take off going to the lower levels. I ain't waiting. And yes, I do monk run. So do I. Yeah, yeah, Naruto running. <laughs> <laughs> I just run like that. I don't run as fast. <laughs> just, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Heading down as fast as I can. Uh, I know I can't keep up with Clem, but I'm going to try. So we are going to do a uh, skills dash. challenge. Oh, oh nice. no! Oh, but I'm so bad at everything. <laughs> You're not Baron Deer. I don't know. Um, the Just rules of a skills like challenge, if you are unaware, is you're going to do a basically a skill check. You can do whatever check you want. Explain <sighs> to me how you're going to use it to do it. The person after you cannot use the same skill and you can't use the same skill again on your next turn can't use the same skill twice you cannot use it twice in a row now bingo cool are we rolling initiative for this if you don't use it do you lose it yes Ooh. that's true what do you mean because <laughs> i'm like Stupid, what? stupid joke. If the person before you I uses to, it, yes. I I had to continue the stupidity because I was like, stupid? Yes, I would. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. So, yes, we are going to roll initiative for this. Woohoo! Come on, uh, natural ones. Ah. 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 I haven't even rolled. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong character. I have the wrong character. I, have... I already care. <laughs> Damn it! This is a Sal. stupid warlock. Oh, I got a, uh, I got a fourteen. Oh, excuse me, Clementine. Tan. Ironhead. Ah, oh, fucking Kador dice. Seventeen. Oh, 17. I yeah. like giving money to kids. Right? <laughs> I was hoping for a one. It's a fickle six. Get out. <laughs> fickle six. <laughs> Malcolm. 19. It's a hardy six. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Malcolm, you are up first. Uh, you see, <laughs> you see two I want pickle pickle on a shirt. Two knolls ahead of you, by the the stairs down. Are they they're coming? Like, da are they coming down like, the stairs? They're coming up the stairs. Okay, like towards me. Yes. Okay. I like following the wizard because the wizard's gonna use intelligent face stuff and I don't have any of it. Following the wizard, the wizard. The wizard, right, the so wizard. I have I have grease prepared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I wanna make I wanna put it like on the top of the stairs so when they go up the stairs they slip. So that would be an arcana check. Okay. Am I wait am I casting the spell? Do you want me to mark that off? Um 
I will say for the sake of this, no, you are not casting the spell. Okay. Anything that, is, anything that is a resource during this uh, skill check area will not actually be spent unless it is an item. 17. Okay, so yeah, you you cast the grease as they're coming up, and the first one hits the grease, and you see him, uh, like, he's got a big old two-handed axe. He hits the grease and falls backwards and cleaves his buddy behind him, like, <laughs> right in the face. And then his buddy falls, and he falls on top of him and impales himself upon the other side of the axe. <laughs> Um, I will, I, wow. as we're, as we're running, I will point and I'll say, watch the top step. It's a little slippery. So everyone knows not to, to skip, to skip the top step. It's going to be like some <laughs> home alone shit. And okay. then I, and then I go, oh my goodness. What did I do to these poor <laughs> people? <laughs> so iron Hyde, it is now your turn. You have... And I can't use Arcana. Correct. Hooray! I'm not proficient in that. As I skip along over the top step, I would like to... God. This is a question for the DM. Mm -hmm. um, is there any way I could use a survival check to potentially plot our next course to potentially uh, to some to some knolls where I think there might be some or if you know they've left any tracks I don't know the ship I would say you could I use survival if you're plotting your course down to the next uh like way down like you're trying to like all right this is the stairs down here we need to get over here to go down to the next level Okay. These cool. are the places we could get ambushed from and so on and so forth. So, All right. Yes. I would like to use survival. Okay. Who, fo who follows me? Uh, Sal does. I'm sorry if that fucked you, Sal. But I will know for next time. 22. Yep. You... You remember the... So this is the fourth deck. You remember the third deck pretty pretty vividly as that's the deck that the mess hall is on so you've you've mapped it out in your head you know every nook and cranny from the stairs down to the mess hall on the other side so you're able to guide everybody down and through uh about halfway through uh two more knolls show up from either side and you're able to avoid getting hurt because you know that like those are dangerous areas Okay, cool. Sal, it is your turn. Okay. I'm gonna go pee now. So, what's in front of me? There are two gnolls uh, who are holding big axes. And they're okay. just, they're blocking your path. Could I use... Could I use acrobatics to try to wall run over them and behind them? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. is it your turn or my turn? I'm confused. <laughs> you said Sal, right? Sorry. Yep. Monk moves. Yeah, yeah. I'm just yep. saying monk moves. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's legitimately not how what I was gonna do. Acrobatics works. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna do. I was like, "Can I parkour off the wall?" No, I can't now. Fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're you're after me, aren't you? <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have to use stealth. <laughs> <laughs> stealth from him. Uh, I can use stealth alternatively. It's the same. It'll be the same number I was, for me. No, I got do what you're gonna do. You've already I got done it. Twenty-two. You've already asked. You said it. <laughs> So, I just give yeah. you shit. <laughs> you look at them and they're looking at you and they're like, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna eat them, it's gonna be fucking delicious. And you're just like, mm -mm, not today, bitch. And you start running and you like you jump up onto the side of the wall and you do that thing where you're just you're back and forth and they're just like 
and you jump over them and they <laughs> both turn around and look at you and like you land and they're like now what are you gonna do and you're kind of like oh fuck oh fuck <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's your turn so while they're watching him jump around i'm gonna sneak up behind them jump and around. do like <laughs> try to bash that's what my i keep, cut, you keep cutting Mike, you keep yeah, cutting, yeah, yeah, cutting out a lot you're cutting out a lot well excuse me it doesn't <laughs> help that he has the microphone way over here um, but he d- he does talk like this, though. It's really been hard to get um, it. <laughs> so I'll sneak up, because I'm sure they're watching him jump around. So I'll sneak up behind them and just, like, smash him in the head with my quarterstaff. I don't know. I can't do um, anything else. I'm a monk. So... I can read my book, I guess. Attack? Give me a stealth check. Or I guess I could just sneak by them. I don't know. But I feel like yeah, I'm... Are we, like, allowed to fight right now, or is this strictly, like, a skill? It's, it's strictly kind of a skill thing. Okay. Which That's kind of how I, I planned it out. Um, oh. So you... If you stealth <laughs> by them, you, they're gonna we were trying see to you. kill these things. Don't worry. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I mean, to do I then. Ki- I guess I I'm not going to do anything. I killed the two in front of me somehow, so. <laughs> no, if if you want to it's stealth, stupid. that's fine. I guess I could drop, I could use sleight of hand and drop, um, uh, what are the things? Cat traps. No, not those, the ones that, uh, I can drop some of those, I got those. <coughs> Natural 20. Oh. For a 24. <laughs> damn it. So, with them both distracted, by Sal and they like like you see the drool frothing at their mouth and like foaming down because they're like we've got one instead of all five together we can easily overpower him uh you like start running at them and you go and slide and you take out your bag of ball bearings and you just let go of it as you go by them (coughs) and they like look at you like slide in between them and one like goes to grab for you and he hits a ball bearing and ends up grabbing his buddy and pulling him down on top of it and they like hit each other in the face with their axes you're starting to get the 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 picture that they're not very good at what they're doing there's just a lot of guards these are scooby doo villains <laughs> I'm no longer concerned about the bridge. <laughs> That's where the one bad thing is trying to get in from the roof. Yeah. Um, so now the the way to the next staircase is open, and it is Duke's turn. But I'm going to say that you open the way to the the staircase. You can descend the staircase and then find out what's wrong down here. Nice. Without it being your... Yeah, like, can we do that first? Yes. Okay. So you all <laughs> rush to the bodies and then you, like, do that, like, weird awkward, like, step over shuffle, because they're, they're, they're rather big, so they do take up a lot of space in the hallway, but you get over them and then you get to the, the stairway down, which is next to the door to the mess hall, and you mm-hmm. see the, the mess hall lady sitting there with it looks like a big spatula, but it's an axe. She's like, I didn't let any of them in here. Give them fucking hell. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> uh, and you head downstairs, and you... This is a more uh, open floor. This is, like, where, like, your storage and stuff is. 
and you just see like a bunch of crew members fighting other gnolls and you see for the first time some kind of like scaly men may i make a, another survival check it is duke's turn ah damn it i can't make another one of those scaly men oh, hey man. how many hey, like how many you? people are in front of us like bad people so you see probably about like 20 or so mm-hmm. and you have about like 15 crew in there uh, no it'd be like so probably about 12 crew and Keltan is in there with the crew. Okay. But you see like Keltan taking on five at a time. Like he's he's fighting five people and it's it looks like a heated battle because that might be a little more than he can handle by himself. Keltan's a badass. Yeah, yeah no shit. <clears throat> um <clears throat> I would like to, I think, make an intimidation check. Duke's okay. just going to fucking yell to get everybody's attention, like at the top of his lungs. And he's going to pull out the coconut that he's been carrying around and try to crush it. <laughs> That's um, awesome. You can give me an intimidation check with advantage because you're using the coconut as like <laughs> okay. a prop. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. That is a 21. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Blackjack, baby. So what do you what are you saying while you're like just screaming like a lunatic? Nothing in particular. I hear you scream like just, a lunatic. I was trying to instill it's fear. Effective. Shelby's effective. sleeping, otherwise I would. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Um, rage I imagine it's just like a guttural, especially since he's like the beast uh, barbarian. You know, it's some like weird noise coming from inside him that doesn't really make sense. So, it's the uh, first time we've heard this. I would say <laughs> about <laughs> all of the the gnolls and the scaled people stop what they're doing and look about 30 percent of the crew are like scared of you as well malcolm's like this did not fucking uh, (laughs) think about that heltan does not stop and look and he just outright just starts killing all the ones he's fighting with while they're distracted hell yeah and he swings like the effort in their favor and you're able like everybody just pitches in and clears the deck um you don't hear any more fighting below you or above you at this moment we are out of the skills challenge time to head to the bridge just like looks down really sad at his crushed (laughs) coconut yeah your your coconut is pieces he's like i walk over to you for a rainy day my coconut. I can't mend that one back together, buddy. You broke that into too many pieces. Sorry, bud. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get another one. We, we need to go to the bridge. Yeah. I'll talk about the coconut. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Cherry, there's, there's something trying to get in the roof we should go. Wait, is it, we haven't checked out the engine yet, have we? Uh, he said there Jeff was no more the fighting. Oh, okay. All right. Up to the roof. Then. Yeah, is, is, is Jeff, like, on the bridge? Jeff is on bridge. the bridge. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. His part of the bridge, part of the crew. I've, I don't know if I've explained his like the the engine room very well. Um it's <laughs> yeah. a room where he like sits and it has a harness in the middle so that like when he is the actual engine of the ship, he like gets rested and it moves forward and a wall closes off his head. And the room basically just siphons the magic energy that he produces. I'm picturing people that like strap themselves in for VR. Right? Essentially, and they just yes. like walk <laughs> I was like, thinking, on a treadmill. <laughs> I was thinking like Pacific Rim, just with a dragon. Yeah. Nice. It, it's like that. <laughs> and so, like, there are two things that came to mind. Instead of a giant badass uh, robot. But, <laughs> but when he's not like actively being like the battery for the ship, he's like He's he can move around in that room like the room's open, but it's just like a a conducting magic stone. 
But other than that, when he's actually flying the ship, it's just his head is, like, sticking out of the wall. All I can think of is Lawnmower Man now. As soon as you, like, likened it to being R, I was like, ah, now I'm broken. I can't do it. Just goggles and the hands moving everywhere. All right. A reason to watch. With a bridge! <laughs> so, you make it up to the next level. It's quiet still. You make it up to your your bunk level. It's not entirely quiet, but it's still faint sounding above you. Uh, you go up the stairs, and the, the door is sealed. Like, it's shut. And... You can attempt to open it if you would like to try. I would love to. All right. Don't break it. <clears throat> Give me an athletics check. Does anyone want to help me? No. Can I? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Duke. So you together. Make it with you, would, advantage. you would be the one. <laughs> yeah. It's not me. I That's why I paused before I rolled dice. We have a barbarian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you send an athletics check, and I'm like, I feel like I should be pitching in here. I have a plus five, so I was like, I, I. Yeah. Uh, I use a mage hand to pick up rocks. Advantage. <laughs> you said twenty. Yep. D greasy twenty. So you got a dirty twenty. Um. Greasy, but yeah. You're able to move the door a slight bit to get your fingers in, and you go to move it, and it, it just does not budge whatsoever. Uh, yes. And while you s are sitting there, you, like, look, and you see that there's, like, a spear jammed into the door, into the wall, and it's just, like, melted like something superheated as it went through and it just melted the door and the wall together uh oh that sounds bad mm -hmm. is there another way to the roof to the air like uh, can the up yeah you can get up to the roof there's like a, a ladder up I go that way if you're looking to at the, the door can you make an investigation check I'm already gone Shh. Like can I help somebody? I'm looking at it since I was just open. Like you can help me. Around. That would be awesome. I'm following. Clark. I don't know if I'm a lot. I don't know if I'm a lot of help, but sure. <laughs> yeah. So you can make that investigation check with a advantage. It's slightly better. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> um, so you look at the <laughs> angle right there. Uh, you... Yeah, we we stroked out. Yeah. You look at the angle that the spear is, and you're like, that's a weird angle for it to be, like, just jammed in there. And you, like, look into the wall to the side, and you notice a hole in the side of the ship. About the size of the spear. Shot through. Mm. Um, so... You can guess that it was shot through, and it has sealed the door completely shut. Clementine and Malcolm would be up to the roof at this point. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll um, start heading that way. Yeah, me too. So, you get up, and you notice that it's... Uh, there's two ships, one on either side of you, and you notice uh, anchoring tethers shot into the front of the ship and in the back of the ship. And you notice that your engines are smoking and not moving. You're still afloat, but you're just not moving in a direction. Um, you see a group of four knolls up towards the front. Uh, trying to smash in the roof which you assume is above the bridge. I definitely make my way that way. So we're going to cut to the other three to see if they're coming up. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. As oh, soon yeah. as as yeah. soon as I know there's no way, as soon as Sal's okay. like, I'm like, hey, this is a door. And then Sal's like, yeah, there's something up with the spear, I guess, right? That's what was <laughs> yeah, the pretty conclusion? Much, yeah. With that oh, roll, it, it was like, like yeah, door. something with the spear, I think? I don't know. Oh, cool. This is an <laughs> probably follow the other guys. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. I, um, I ain't investigating shit. So, in this situation, <clears throat> I would like to be curly. So you, we are the you, what, you guys will climb up the ladder. The uh, yep. As you're getting to the top and coming up, Malcolm, did you move forward or did you stay by the ladder? Oh, no, I was going to go right up to the knoll, like as close to the knoll as I could uh, within 60 feet at least. Uh, so the one that's trying to get into the roof. Well, there's four of them. All right. That's even better, I guess. Um, <laughs> as you get to within a hundred feet of them, uh, you notice one of them like looks up and he goes, Meals on, boys. Get the boss. Oh, <laughs> shit. Um, so three of them move in front of one of them. And you see that one pull up a gun and fire it. And you see a flare go up. So anyone on the roof, please roll initiative. Are we there by now or just... Yes, you guys are up. As you guys are getting to the top, you see them protect the guy and shoot the flare. I need... 13. Where is my dice? <laughs> We're at 12 now. Did better than last time. I need a clean piece of paper. So my paper. I'm holding up as many markers as I rolled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I th- hey, somebody's got to bring up the rear. be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I, I... I don't want... I don't want to go first, but I have to. Every Stop time, rolling so fucking good. Every time on initiative, I roll fucking I yeah, so good. Yeah, I don't know good. why. I roll like shit initiative every I time. I roll good on the skills challenge, and then I was like, all right, yeah. here comes the battle. Where, there it is. Every, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure every initiative I've rolled good. I think there might have been one yeah. that I haven't. Oh. Oh, my God. I waited for that to come out. I feel like I, I'm I've been waiting for that to come time. out since they announced it like two years ago. Yep. And I watched it the day it came out, yep. and I obsessively watched it over and over. Like, I've watched oh my it god, twice so already. It's so good. How can you not? I'm Sorry. still really hoping they kill Chris Pine in the first two minutes of the new D and D movie. I really want him to die in the first two minutes, and then Chris like, Pine Two comes in. It's like, hi, as I'm, fucking my name's Ar- Argot. <laughs> <laughs> And then he dies, and it's like, hi, my name's Zargot. I'm the brother of Argot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend, like, the $100 on the fucking gelatinous cube action figure, but, I like, if that's how he dies, I'm going to have to buy it. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> Next yeah, March. I, I'm Argot's yeah. twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> how many letters of the alphabet are there? 26? All right, well, I got at least 26. Bargot. <laughs> Ask that question, or yeah, I did. How many are there in the alphabet? So like, uh, how many, how many alphabets are there? It's literally the same shit that happens in beer, beer fest. Yes. Dwarf what mouth. is your initiative? Thirteen. Clementine. Fourteen. Oh, hey. <laughs> Ironhide. One. It's another dollar for extra life, right there. <laughs> Duke Dose oh, God, guys. <laughs> just... That's why I was like there's I, I was like I'm definitely last and you're like I'm holding up this Dose Dose 22 right. <laughs> Look to you fancy fuck I rolled a natural 20 And everyone gonna, but Malcolm dies I was gonna re-roll it because I rolled wait, it And wait, it wait, landed wait. on top of a dice But it landed flat on the dice so. Hold on hold on hold on Do you have like two initiative you're adding that to the 20 that you rolled? I add plus two. You add your dexterity bonus. I don't think I've ever done that a single time. So actually, I'm, <laughs> wow. I'm three. I don't think I'm I've ever, 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 ever done that. Not any better, but... Jesus. Yeah, I was going to say, it only brings me up that. to a There's three, a spot but... that says initiative so next to your... Oh, no, I see that. It says is plus it... one. That's why I was asking. Yeah, you plus two? Yeah, so there's plus one to that. Yeah. 
fine. Okay. One of these days, we'll do D and D one hundred and one with Tater. Yeah. I mean, no, please. I mean, there's a whole podcast we did that has. There's a whole podcast <laughs> that we did D and D one hundred and one, but we got to do it with Tater, otherwise it doesn't retain. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna just water. watch it on my own. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it hurts. Ah. Wait, ah. wait, you guys do a podcast? Why the hell would I watch that? <laughs> where, where can I find that, guys? Do I have to like sub somewhere? I don't know, maybe like Anchor FM, YouTube, Dysfunctional D and D on YouTube. Hit the bell. With an N, it's an N, not a, an N, a not an ampersand. <laughs> Yeah, fuck yeah, <clears throat> fuck you. That was awesome. <laughs> fuck you. Everything's <laughs> fuck you. I don't think I've ever added that fuck to this yeah. show. Ever. <laughs> what is this podcast shit? <laughs> that even. All right. <laughs> Malcolm, you what? are first. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know when we're in a bad spot when the wizard's gone first. <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, we're all rolling really bad. Right, they're all like yeah. right next we... to each other, right? Uh, They... If you're using something that is AOE, you could get two of the four. They did spread out. I got up there first. How far did they first spread out? Second. How far are they from each other? I might have they something are... that does a 40 by 40 square. What do you know? What do you they know? Go on. So, <laughs> what do you <laughs> know? <laughs> Welcome to the feisty part of this uh, episode of DD. Right now, we've entered combat. And now everybody wants to fight. They are 15 <laughs> feet from each other. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just Malcolm remember, we're on our own ship as well. <laughs> I will cast fireball. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> it's metal. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. It, it is metal. Yeah. We're good. Have we ever discussed what the ship is made of? Sure, yes, we, it's said we have yeah, multiple times. I said it was We've made of wood. About it was wood. Time. He said, no, it's We've metal. Talked about I honestly it always thought it was made out of pickles. Because Ironhide <laughs> continuously tries to do things to the th to the ship that he can't do because it's made out of metal. <laughs> it's metal. I just assumed it was a you mix. You paint metal. It's like 95% metal, 5% like wood. I've been picturing yeah, wood like this whole time. Think no, of like... <laughs> The high wind from yeah, right, exactly. I'm, I'm no, not like rolling for initiative. I'm in a wooden world. ship. <laughs> David, I was trying to draw this ship, and I, the whole thing's wood. I got to start over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you were picturing, like. Uh, all right, fine. I'm gonna look at the one. Back. I'm gonna look at the one that said, uh, <laughs> uh, "It's food time" or whatever, and then. Uh, he needs to make a wisdom saving throw, I believe. Hold on. Let me make sure. Ton, ton, ton. Looks like meat's back on the menu. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, intelligence saving throw. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like these guys are dumb as bricks. Yup. Everyone rolls an 18. Sorry, Patch just knew. I was like, oh, fucking gnolls? Ugh. This is the one gnoll that went to fucking university. Nope. <laughs> right, he's he's the nerd. Yeah. Hyena, you? A ten. That's a. That's oh, not, he's not. not he's not that's a, a nerd. Fail. <laughs> yeah. No. It's average. So this ten. Is I feel like ten is average. That is. Hey. It's like Duke intelligence. He pay. Oh, that's terrible. He takes two psychic <laughs> damage, and he has to subtract the next a, a D four from the next saving throw he makes at the end of his by the end of the next. I know. Okay. Uh, and I call, I just yell, fuck you, bitch. It's really feisty tonight, you guys. It's my, it's called Mind Sliver, so it's like a, <laughs> yeah, a spike of energy that. shot. Yeah, a spike of energy shot into his mind, I guess. I like that you choose to make it like a mean, a mean yeah. thing, a mean yeah. word or phrase. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's carry over into Saturday's games. Uh, it, <laughs> he like yeah. looks at you and he's like, I'm too dumb to understand what you just said. And does he say that out loud? Yeah. Well, he's self-aware. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm. It stung a little, but what? All right, so I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm sixty feet from him, right? Yeah. I didn't move yet, right? Correct. Okay. Now I, because he said that, I back up twenty-five feet. <laughs> and I say out loud, I don't want to catch what you've got. You sound so dumb. 
Like hands oh, are so up good. like that. Yeah. He's gonna get into a trash talking fight with these guys. Is that what's so, happening right now? How hard. I'm picturing this in my head is you and Clem are up at about like the sixty foot mark from them, and then the rest of them are about forty feet from you. Okay. Because they had just come up. Uh As you guys get up, you see the flare. You see Malcolm say, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and you're just like, wow, Captain's really stepping up. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's right. <laughs> and you guys are like, you're getting a little pumped. You're ready. And then all of a sudden, something just lands in front of you. Oh, shit. And stands up. And it's about 10 feet tall. Uh, and it turns around and looks at the three of you. I'm going to wear your entrails around my neck. And I don't give a fuck. He's and this dead. is a... Like a... <laughs> a scaly lizard man. And you see like bones and like dried entrails all around his neck and around his arms like like sweatbands yeah. and he picks up this gigantic axe from in front of him and hefts it up onto his shoulder and that's his turn is i can i ask a question about like you said that we have I've seen a lizard folk you yes. said you said that we have like two tethers in the side of the ship, right? Holding us? Yep. Are they from above us? Yes. Okay, so if we looked up, there's another ship above us. There, there's there's two ships. Okay, two ships. There's okay. one to either side. It's, gotcha. You said it was four tethers, right? Two in the yep. front and in the back? Okay, okay. so yep. two. Okay, I got you. All right. I thought it was only two. Two in the front, two in the back. He did say two, but he said it in the front and the back. So it, yeah. it is four. <laughs> math. I can do simple math. Two plus two. Um, I also have an intelligence up. of ten, by the way. <laughs> Represent. I can. I could use oh, enlarge. So I could use enlarge and become six feet. Uh. <laughs> it is the knoll on the left hand side's turn. Uh, he runs sixty feet towards you. It is the knoll on the right-hand side. He runs 60 feet towards you. So, Clementine and Malcolm, you have a knoll five feet away from you on both the left and right side. Oh. Well, then Clementine does, because yep. she has not moved yet. Yep. <laughs> I'm 25 <laughs> feet away, so I'm 30 feet they're, away from those. Uh, they are uh, not in melee, like they're, so they're essentially 10 feet away from you. Their, their entire movement was to get as close as they could to you. Um, Clementine, it is your turn. Okay. Um, so they're they're both within five feet of me, so they're both attackable. I can reach them both. You would have to move five feet to attack them, yes. I will do that. Um, okay. Are your hands magical and I yet? Will... Yes, they are. Yes, okay. they are. I got that at six level. Sure <laughs> it is. Good to know. Yep, Good to know. Yeah. Um, so I will. <laughs> the one on the right, I will. I wish I had left. Punch it. Okay. With my fist. For a 19 to hit. That hits. Oh. I don't. I haven't fucking hit anything in so long. Hang on. I don't remember what I do. D6. But what's plus four? Yeah, dex or your strength. I don't. Yeah, I know. I know. You can use your strength if you want to, but normally you want to use your dex. Uh, so that first would be five damage. So I'm going to hit him again. The lancing. Yep. Second attack. Bang, bang. One, two. That's a 17 to hit. That just hits. Ooh. Ooh. Why we both did that? Ooh. <laughs> I, think, I think we just figured out our numbers. So <laughs> These that's, are that's an normal gnolls. <laughs> that is normal. That is. Are they normal? Shut up. That is nine bludgeoning damage. All right. 
No. And I'm going to use my... Right, I can use my bonus action to hit. Yes, I can. You can use your bonus, bonus action for an choose. offhand strike. Well, no, I can use it to hit. You can use it to martial arts, or you can use it to flurry of blows. No, that's not a bonus action. That's a key point. Flurry of blows is a key point and oh, a bonus wait, action. Right. It's a bonus action to do that as a key point, but then I can use another key point to add hands of harm to any of that. And I didn't yeah. think to do that just now. You can also yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> you can also stack a stunning strike if you want to. Uh, I, mean, I am going to use a key point to do flurry of blows. That's two more punches for a bonus action. So on the same guy, two more punches. Oh, well, how's okay. he looking? How's he looking? I don't how's have look? any good spells. <laughs> he looks like he gave him a couple good hits, like he might have a shiner, but he still looks pretty healthy. He's a little wrong, but not... Okay. He's so, like, yeah, oh, uh... I got hit. Whatever. I'm used to it. So I'll use this. I'll, I'll hit him again. Mm -hmm. 26 to hit. That definitely hits. And I'm also going to throw another key point and do Hands of Harm, just in case I don't okay. get the next one. Um, gonna Bang. Four more left. Sorry, I'm Mr. Mug. Ooh, is that a gummy? Oh. Oh. So that's... Uh, the oh. hit, I rolled max damage, which is ten. Um, I think my internet just the... shut the bed for a second. Did you I mean, watch not saying anything, something. but you're good. Yeah. You didn't miss anything. That's wisdom. Still look it right. So, but the <laughs> the, <laughs> the necrotic damage is only three because I rolled a one. And then my last hit, seventeen again. That's the number. <laughs> and that's eight eight damage. So you give him the the good old like martial One, two, arts. Three, four. Like, yeah. <laughs> like jab, jab, right up. Like, you hit him in the face once. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. You hit him again. He's like, ah. Then you do the body blow. The special like you hit him in the nose with your palm and like you see some blood shoot out and he's like, ooh, that one didn't feel good. And then you just like you follow up with like a knee to the ribs, and he's like, oh, oh. Ow. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he looks, he looks a little winded from the assault that he just sustained. <laughs> uh, and now it is Sal's turn. Yay. All right. So he looks, a uh, he looks a little winded, but he's still looking pretty lively. No, the guy in front no. of you is huge and fresh. Oh yeah. You get the big boy in front of you. Okay. So the guy. Guy. All right. How, so how far old, away then are, are I fucking knew you were the gonna do that. other two? The the two okay. that are on Clementine are forty yeah. feet away from you. Forty feet away from me. How did I get that far? Oh, they were yeah, we're they we were, were ahead. Them. Okay, yeah, he's in between us. So in between, pretty, okay, pretty close to me. There, there are two knolls forty five feet away from you, and then two knolls sixty feet away from you. Okay. okay. And then you also have the big lizard man 20 feet in front of you. Between our two groups. Yes. Okay. Okay. That like, changes my plan he's like a little 15 bit. Feet from me. He's really close to me. Not gonna lie, yeah. Tater, you should have been a like a wizard because you have a familiar. Like literally it just comes it just shows back. up every yep. time we play. <laughs> so and we're like we're like on the roof, so like, is there rigging all around us? Uh, so there is like, you know how on boats how they have like the nets off the sides, so nothing can like fall off the sides. Okay. Like there's the the poles, and then there's the net between the two poles. There's no like railings. It's just flat surface with like the net protection around, so that you can't like just jump off. Okay. We don't use sails for any reason, correct? Correct. <laughs> in my head, well, we always did. We, ha we have <laughs> sails for when we're actually in the water, right? Right, yeah, I thought that was a thing. Oh, I thought oh. we, yeah, I thought we did. Oh. Nope. Okay, or my, the image of this ship in my head is 
completely wrong. It's, <laughs> it's not an actual boat. The only boat that you have seen are actual boats. And the the, the Wolf of Waterdeep. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. All right. So sorry. I guess my Pussy question is... Spider Wolf bro. Pussy. Thank you so very much. <laughs> so I guess my question is, is there anything that I can hide? Like bonish action hide? No, there never is. Um, <laughs> I will... I mean, uh, I'm nearby. <laughs> yeah, will we hide behind him? Can I get Can I get partial cover behind Duke? <laughs> um, <I> mean, <laughs> until he moves. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would, but Duke uh, would take double damage. <laughs> Because you're pushing uh, in the way. So I probably, I mean, I could get past him. I could, I could get, could I get up to where uh, they are with the two knolls around them yeah, without taking an attack? Yes. Okay. Um, Then I'm going to do that and I guess go for the one that is not fucked up. Okay. Um, so he is 40 feet away, so you can move 30 feet and then use a ranged attack, or you have your bonus action where you can dash, so you can get into combat with him. Yeah, I'm going to bonus action dash. I'm going to get up to him and get into combat, um, and then I'm going to, uh, attack could I get into a position where I'm kind of behind him? Is this focus right now? I can um, give you, you have enough movement from your 30 feet of movement and your, your dash movement to get into an advantageous position. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to be a natural 19 for a 26 with my combat knife. That hits. I always fucking forget about that thing. <laughs> he's used uh, it once like actually used its intention so three and then sorry six plus 16 so 16 total damage 16 total damage so you get you get behind him and you you go to go for like that kidney shot and you hit him and you like he's he's like ah shit my back that kind of fucking hurts his anatomy is just enough different that like he you didn't hit anything vital okay. he definitely <laughs> he definitely gave him a a good stabby okay so Noel C's turn is now. Uh, he's the one way, way in the back. Uh, you see him pull out something and point it at you. And he shoots. Who's at you? At who? Uh, at uh, Sal. Because he's go. the closest thing. I just didn't. You said at you. Uh, and he gets a 25 to hit. That doesn't hit. No. Miss. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I gotta Ooh, tell you, I would I like to use my. I would like to use my reaction. Can I use that as my thing? You are not in combat shield? yet. Aww, you are damn, actually in combat, and he is sixty Ooh. feet away from you. Who is attacking right now? The one that shot the flare. Way in is the that one. So is that that one's not near me right now? Oh no. Okay. All right, so he is shooting at me currently. He is shooting at you, and he is. Sal is 10 he's, feet away from you, so you could shooting. not catch the he's missile. Sh- he's shooting you. I was going to try. <laughs> he's not shooting at you. No, he's shooting you. <laughs> he's shooting me. Yes, no, he hit me. Okay. Uh, I would like to know damage before he I has, decide which reaction I'm going to take. You, you take uh, six damage as this silver ball hits you in the shoulder. Okay. Um... It's not worth it. I'm going to save. I'm going to save my reactions for this one. There you go. Uh, I, I, right. yeah. Uncanny dodge. Three. I can do that. Uncanny dodge. So you take three damage. Three damage, yep. Uh, and then I assume a nine does not hit. Uh, that's a negative. 
So you hear uh, a loud explosion come from his area as you're hitting the shoulder with the silver ball. And then you see him uh, pull back something on the thing and fire again. And you just see the silver ball like shoot past you wildly. Yep. Okay. And that's his turn. Fabulous. Uh, seeing his null brethren shoot twice at you, he also pulls something out and aims at you. <gasps> oh, that doesn't count. Be glad it doesn't count. <laughs> Leave our rogue alone. Leave him alone. Ooh. I feel like uh, Sal always gets fucked up. I can't, I can't hide ever in combat. Miss fire. Uh, he, he oh, an open you, field. And he takes like a second. Every and time. He's, he's just like, I'm going to get this. And he pulls the trigger. And you see whatever's in his hand explode. Misfire. Uh, like a bad yes. one, though. It's like a jam. Uh, <laughs> Dee, if you, oh, were, were you, you were gonna hide early, though, weren't you? I was. Yeah, I was gonna. I was so gonna if hide. You, if you had attacked after hiding, then you would have been not hiding anymore. Well, yeah, in that in that specific situation. Yeah, so. But yeah. <laughs> see you. Um, I was just trying to say, like, think, like, okay, he would have been, he would have been able to get hit, shot at anyway. Uh, you, <laughs> you see this explosion happen in his face, and like part of his face, like, kind of tears, and he has like facial muscles. He he took twenty damage from the gun explosion oh, in his which face. One, which one did I call the? Bitch? It's to be you, nerd. The one that just had the gun explode in his face. <laughs> All right, well, he bitch. was he was pretty dumb. Uh, he drops what he's holding and he runs 20 feet to Sal and that's the end of his turn. Um, at the end of that Noel's turn, the lizard turns his head and says, is that all you got? You're going to let some little girl hit you? Hit her back! I'm so mad. And the Noel has to take a swing at you. Do it. Uh, for a 19. Yeah, so it hits. <laughs> <laughs> you take seven slashing damage as his sword comes down and rakes across like your arm. Ow! My arm! I need that to punch thing! Uh, Duke, oh, it is now your turn. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> So, 20 feet in front of you, you have Big Lizard Man, 40 yeah. feet is two gnolls, and then 60 feet is two other gnolls. Oh, actually, I should say 40 feet is three gnolls. There's a three gnoll oh, no. sandwich with Clementine and Sal. Yeah. That doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound like a sandwich. It's like a so... double-decker. Triple-decker. <laughs> Duke's gonna like rage. <laughs> All right, Duke raged. What changes? What do you look like? Uh, Spread a little tail. There it is. I mean, like Ankylosaurus style. Well, I mean, oh, it's, yeah, it's not like a nubby tail. It's like roughly, ten, a... roughly 10 feet. <laughs> Dang. Weird. Shit. That bitch got some reach. Yo, look. It seems long. You look weird now. <laughs> As if I didn't That's not it. proportional, sir. Um <laughs> in it. In it. <laughs> I'm gonna Is this guy like facing the other way since he was yelling at the knoll? He just turned his head. He didn't turn oh, his okay, full okay, body. Okay. So he is still very much looking in your direction. Alright, well, um I'm gonna try to take my hammer to one of his knees. All right. And I'm gonna do an extra attack. Like I'm gonna obviously run up to him and then extra attack. So okay, two attacks. Is that third or fourth? Well, first is a uh, one. So oh, fuck me. God, so bum, 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 bum. You just swing. Seconds in that twenty. Hey, what a <laughs> roller coaster of both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> Your first swing misses wildly, and he goes, <laughs> Oh, shit. I don't know where your gut's so good. Um, Hello. 
Okay, so second hit does ten. So that's two dice. Roll you your to... dice. Oh no! Roll two dice. And anything that is a dice that you have to roll, roll two of them. Okay. Well, that went on the floor, so I'm gonna roll it again. Bingo. Uh, that is a eleven. So plus the ten, right? Yep. So that would so be twenty-one. 21. Plus the strength, plus two for your raging. Oh yeah, that was plus strength. I did not add the rage oh. though. So, so it'd be uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three, yeah. Do you have two strength? Two. Like plus plus two, two for for rage still, or is it yeah, plus yeah, three? yeah, plus two for rage. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so twenty-three damage total. Yep. Uh. You like, is this your hammer that you're using? Yeah, two handed hammer. So you miss on the first. He laughs at you. He's like, You're pathetic. Uh, and that, like, that just boils with you because you're like, Every time I fucking miss, people make fun of me and I'm done with this. So you bring the hammer up in like a wide arc and smash him, and you see his jaw go. <laughs> And he just, he goes, all right. <laughs> okay. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, I think so. Ironhide, it is your turn. Well, I suppose I'm going to move up uh, and get into the fray for 30 feet, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You only um, have to move 20 to get to this guy okay so well i don't want to get anyone to grill just yet i want to who's within 30 feet of me with if i move 10 feet if you move 10 feet you have sal and you would have just duke in range of you and the the big lizard man i'm, I'm and then i'm five feet away from that i'm like so right if i move 50 I'm like 10 feet from the big lizard man. He landed like right next to me. Oh. So I would like didn't to see you when he landed. I need to get within at least 30 feet of Duke and Malcolm. Is so that you would possible? have to move up 20 feet. I can do that. Am I in anyone's grill? Uh, Big lizard man. He's the That's only fair. one. That's fair. I would like to invoke my emboldening bond. So uh, I would like to forge the empowering bond and wash over that feeling of, ooh, all right, everything's going to be okay with Malcolm and Duke and myself. So for the next 10 minutes, uh, any bonded creature within 30 feet of another can roll a d4 and add the number of roll to an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw it makes. You cannot use it more than one turn, once per turn. Also, being I'm level 6, you can use your reaction to teleport to an unoccupied space within 5 feet of the first creature, and you take the damage instead of that creature if they are attacked. That is my action. Eight. Thank you. So movement action, you. you have a bonus action. I sure do, and as a cleric, you know, we're going to just go right in bread and butter, and I'm going to cast it at second level because I don't have any fourth level spots because I'm not level seven yet. <laughs> yet being the keyword. Six. The is level the seven. Is the emboldening bond a spell? It is not. It's a cleric That's feature. It's sick. one of those things that we covered in... It's one of those yeah. things that we covered in the episode. Yeah. Uh, is it sure. a domain? It is a domain thing. It's a peace domain. I just want to make sure all my friends are just happy. That you covered. We in don't, I don't want to. In in that some, thing, that's a podcast. Some, some shitty, some shitty thing that our friends put together. <laughs> yeah, we just did some for you know sixty nine weeks. Just a yeah, yeah. thing. Six yeah, you know, nice. it's not like you know the flagstone that got us here. <laughs> um, it's a podcast. Yeah, okay. thank you, thank you, love. Uh, yeah, we're gonna cast spiritual weapon, and. I'm within 60 feet of at least Clementine and Sal, right? Who's got more dudes around him? 
Um, Clementine has two dudes around her, and Sal has two dudes around him. Oh, oh this kid. Yeah, Did I see the dude come down from the ship? <laughs> You're standing the right next to me. You're standing oh, he's, right next he's in front of me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Not exactly. Exactly. We don't one, know either. Are you playing d, d? I, I need a. I have a clarifying question then. So the two dudes that are around Cell, did they both? Were they both like right near him, but used a ranged attack? The one that used a ranged attack moved toward him. The After. other one is still sixty. Is still twenty feet away from you. Guys. There was three over there, and then yeah. Yeah. one of them moved. Okay. To make four. Yeah. yeah. After so you shot. and Sal have three, so you have like... one off by himself, yeah. and then the big lizard dude is with the rest of them. Well, a as a fan of the rules, I was just going to say, you know, if you're in within five feet and you make a range attack, it's disadvantage. Yeah, no, he I didn't shot. know if he was within five feet. He doesn't feet. function he like shot. a bow and arrow. He shot, he shot first and then ran. You still have disadvantage with a gun? I don't it's know, a range he's attack. Trying to shoot going like right here with the belly. Like it's, it's, it's a rage attack. Yeah, that's, it that's the rules. That's the rules. Motherfucker. You need I'm a minute. The DM. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Uh... You rules with me. You know how <laughs> I'm I not can. arguing rules. I'm just telling you that doesn't exist. <laughs> it does. Bonus I'm action spiritual you. weapon. Enjoy that, Thundercat. Ah. <laughs> lizard man attacking <laughs> lizard man. Uh, I rolled a two. So plus no. six is eight. Yeah. That's the uh, eight doesn't hit. You sure? I'm positive. You want to make sure? <laughs> you want to double check? You could even double that and it still wouldn't hit. Ooh. He's showing his hand. He sure is. That's, so that's guys, a 16, a 16 doesn't hit. Just to let you know. Hey, uh, Duke, I might need a hand over here. I mean, does it really matter, though, if you roll a 16? Oh, great. You're just going to find out. It yeah, it's but like, Ironhide yeah, and I absolutely. are both standing near a lizard man now, right? So we'd have advantage when we're rolling? No. Uh, no, well, I... I You're not spell, in a position no. to give advantage at this moment. Uh, burns. You'd have to be flanked. Could I have moved uh, to make it so Tater has advantage? No. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. I still have some movement. I have 10 feet. Yeah, but you're using your turn over. Not yet. It is now. My turn is done. But you can't. Oh, no, you can't. You can break up. You technically you can't. You break can't up break up movement. movement. Yes. You uh, just can't if you're holding your act. Bingo. Malcolm, it's back to you. We're at the top of the order, guys. <laughs> guys, I have nothing good for this fight. <laughs> awesome. Good, 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 good. Just good. so you know. Maurice, you're fine. Uh, I'm feeling confident. Make them all Find a necklace to... Find a fucking bracelet to cut. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> yeah, I think what I'm gonna do. I think what I'm gonna Have do is, I'm I'm like ten feet from him. Uh, he doesn't mm -hmm. know I'm there. He knows you're there, but he's not concerned with. Yeah, you. he hasn't like made any like oh. motion. You are not to be a threat to him in his so, opinion right now. So because of this, I'm going to start running like diagonally. Like away from the fight with Clementine and Sal, and away from Big Man. And while I'm yep. doing it, I yell "Quill time!" and <laughs> "Quill time!" and I shoot uh, a third level magic missile at him. Level. So that's three plus two more. Three. Two. Yeah, no, it's five. Yeah, five. Five d five. Three. 5d plus 5. I almost said 5d5. What is that? What the hell is that? Plus 1. 17 uh, force damage. Yeah. Get him. I don't like how he's typing on another computer. Uh, and then I... No. Uh, it's no, probably it's easier to keep track. It is. iPad. I know. Yeah, I know. I will... Finish running that way. <laughs> okay. Twenty five. It is feet. now. So now I'm thirty five feet from him. It is now Gut Draper's turn. Oh. I don't know who that is. That's a guy. No, he's like got a, a name. name. His name isn't just Noel. Not Why? Two. Why? He's not a Noel. He's not a Noel. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like the other uh, ones, they're all Noels. They don't have names. Upon taking nope. the quills into his chest, he starts like shaking and he's going to rage 
Shit. Sweet. <laughs> and he looks down at Duke. And he's going to reckless attack. Ooh. Oof. That means everybody has advantage on him now. Yeah. Oh, we already get advantage on him? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, reckless, reckless attack, he gets advantage, but we also get advantage. Uh, he gets plus 10, so 18 to hit. Okay. Plus, plus how got, much? <laughs> he got so lucky. He rolled a fucking 8 as his best fucking roll. That's so bad. Vandal. <laughs> yeah, no, that hits. Yes. Does the attack have to hit me? Or is it anyone? For the shield of denial. Ooh, anyone. Wait. Um, I would like to impose a disadvantage, so it was a straight roll. Does an 18 hit? Because they he were full pace. Two eights. <laughs> yeah. Fucking asshole. Fuck. Fuck. I yep. tried. I tried so hard. <laughs> and it didn't really matter, man. Seriously. <laughs> Fuck. He tried bad. so hard. Yeah, I know that hits. Uh, so. Inside jokes? You take so 11 slashing damage, but you're raging, so you cut it in mm. half. I yep. believe. Yep. Yeah. So you take five. Is it five? You it's only it's five or six. It's always rounded down for the player. Okay. Yep. So, so you take five damage. Okay. He's going to use his second attack to attack you again. Yep. Deal with disadvantage. Does a seventeen hit? Nope. Yep. Damn it. Wait, Level I have a quick six. question. With um, Ironhide stuff that he did on us, that doesn't contribute to this at all, right? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Didn't think so. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. You can uh, use your tail to make it not hit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yep. Can use I do your that reaction. with both my attacks, or just... Can only I do that one, only you once? only get to use one, one reaction, reaction a turn. Okay. You could have used it on your first one. Eh. It already happened. <gasps> yeah. I know. Yeah. Over. So I'll use it on yeah I'll use it on this. So it just makes it not hit. He has um, to roll a dice. Okay, so roll the dice. Does it take away from what he tries to hit with? It's probably similar. Yeah, it 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 can. It can. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find my D8. This thing's a D8, right? Yep. Yep. Pyramid. Okay, so as long as there's not zeros on it. Uh oh. I'm just okay. reading through to make sure I'm doing it correctly, sorry. No, you're good. I need to read something real quick as well. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. So basically I can if a creature within uh ten feet of me attacks me, I can uh do a reaction tail swipe where I roll a D eight and then apply that to my armor class. Okay. Uh, Patch, your shield only worked on the first attack. It does not work on both attacks. I know. I tried. Uh, and that is a seven, so that does not hit me. Well, with what he, what I just read, that actually changes what his attack roll was. Son of a bitch. Okay, what's it? Well, do you want me to tell you what mine it is? It was a 20 total, but you okay. still bring it down. So he does not hit you with his second attack. Okay. Um, Seeing it miss you... He's so infuriated that he uh, he action surges okay. and he's going to attack you two more times. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Not even anything. Uh, it's just uh, some 28. Yep. <laughs> That'll do it. My thought was, what's the split? Uh, so it'll do 16 damage, cut in half to 8. Yep. And then seeing that one take, like, place in you, like, he's just, like, hacking at you, and he's he sees, like, little cuts, but he sees that one does, like, a little bit of a deeper. He's gonna go all out on his last attack and take a negative 5 on his roll. Okay. And that is a, let's see... A 19 to hit yeah. with a negative five. Oh, uh, so 19. Yeah, yeah. that still uh, still hits. So 
This one, it feels like it hurts, like he has weight behind it. It does 20 slashing damage, but you only take 10. Good. I ready. would actually like to uh, use my reaction to uh, teleport to an unoccupied space within five feet of him to give uh, Duke advantage for when he eventually swings at this lizard man and take yep. the 20 points of damage. He already has Wasn't advantage. the shield a reaction, though? The shield was your no. reaction. Oh, that is a reaction. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank sorry. You. Just <laughs> keep me on my toes. Forget. We like rules. Yes. Good job. Yes, we do. Good job. Yay, rules. Got rules it. let us have hey. structured fun. <laughs> exactly. <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> I mean, boo. <laughs> nope. <laughs> rules. Fight the man. Uh, that is the end like of gut, gut Draper's turn. It is now law-abiding Noel B's turn. He is going to attack Clementine. Oh, Noel B for Beth. <laughs> Noel C uh, for Clem. Uh, <laughs> shit. A 21 to hit and an 11 to hit. So 21, yes, 11. No. Uh, you take nine slashing damage from the short sword. I don't want to, though. So. But you do. <laughs> So unfortunately, <laughs> that's how that goes. But like, okay. <laughs> like, I right. don't want to. I don't like that. <laughs> really rather not. Uh, seeing his brother hit you, the one that you absolutely pummeled the shit out of on your first turn is going to attack you twice. Well, that's rude. Uh, So a 15 Misses. and a 12. Misses. So he's kind of shaking. He's he can't he can't place his blows because he just like he, he gave him a good broken eye. So he's having a little bit of a hard time. Uh it now comes to your turn. Well, I'm gonna finish him off. Alright. You do not have advantage on this one. If you attacked the other one, you would, because Sal is on the other one. So, you're fighting a null here, there's a null here, and here on you, and Sal is on this one, and the one you hit is on this side. I'm still going after the one I hit. Yep, that's fine. I'm just letting you know you don't have advantage on this one. Eighteen to hit. That hits. I punch him in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled eight damage. Jesus Christ. Jeez. I have a plus four. My dex is four. Um, he's still standing? Oh, yeah. Still breathing? God damn it. He's, he's still breathing. Um, he's having a rough time, though. I'm gonna pump. I'm gonna use a key point to pump hands of harm into that too. Okay. Six necrotic damage. Uh, so you you hit him in the side of the face and like you, like where you broke his eye, like that you was see the throat it, punch. <laughs> oh, oh, so you just see like the black veins spread out from his throat and like he throws up some black blood. Like he's like, ah. Ah. um, still up though. Yes. Mother, fucking shit! I'm gonna punch him again. This time I'm <laughs> gonna just bring my elbow down. Try to bring my elbow down, like on his skull. Oh, that's gonna miss for a fifteen. That misses. I rolled an eight, you guys. So he, you oh. miss, and he's like, oh, thank Jesus. Bonus action, flurry of blows. Go for it. <laughs> I'm just using it all. <laughs> using everything on the henchman. <laughs> uh, 26 to hit. That fucking hits, holy shit. Say, actually, gnolls are pretty shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yep. These aren't very shitty gnolls. Feels uh, shitty, I did like 35 damage last time. <laughs> they're pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not not shitty. <clears throat> Max damage. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, you see him go down onto a knee and he's just like, 
<laughs> Still up. Oh my god. <sighs> Is that the end of your turn? Yeah, I no, I have one more attack, but I'm like, do okay. I want to waste it on this guy? No. I don't want to use it. I'm sure he's got like two hit points, you know. Hey, two hit points is still alive. Oh, one, one, one less hit points is hit you. Two hit he's points is still now. two attacks. So no, no, he's on the ground now. So he's now I have advantage, he's right? not prone. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> good, try. good try, love. Good try. I did try. <laughs> it was good try. I knew where it was going though. You didn't rules him Fucking down prone. Seventeen to hit. That hits. Oh, I have rolled. A fucking 12 so many times. That's a 19. Hang on. I'm doing my math wrong, you guys. That was 19 the whole time. You hit. Holy shit. 17 hit. I'm stupid. Roll damage. <laughs> no, he's stupid. That's another 10 bludgeoning damage. I rolled max damage a second time. <laughs> Jesus nope. Christ. Uh, he, like, you're just pummeling the shit out of this, this man, this knoll, this knoll of a man. This man of a and he's just he's just blood just pouring out of like from his eye sockets, his mouth, his ears, and he's just <sighs> Is that the end of your turn? Shut the fuck up. He's still up. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of my turn. I don't want to waste another key point. These 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 minions have more more damage than most veterans have. <laughs> they actually don't. <laughs> She's done like 70 damage to this thing. <laughs> She's done 69 damage to this thing. Uh -huh. I'm pretty, that's me just guessing. That's pretty good. It's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close, yeah. So, Salad yeah, the first is your turn. turn was 35 damage. Okay. Um, this turn was so... 34. Mm hmm. Uh, nah. I missed on one of the hits, too. Uh, so, I'm going to use. Cause fear on the guy in front of me. Uh, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Just read okay. So wisdom saving throw, you said? Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 nine. That does not. Do it. Are you doing uh, this to the one you were attacking or the one that came up behind you? The one that I was attacking. Okay. Um. And then I guess could I uh, use my bonus action uh, to throw a knife? Um. Who are you throwing it at? The guy who's on his knee. So, you're making a ranged attack while you are in melee combat. So you have disadvantage. I'm not within five feet of that guy, though. Five feet within a hostile creature. There's one in front of you and behind you. I thought it was five feet on the target. When you make a ranged attack with a weapon, a spell, or some other means, you have disadvantage on the attack roll or if you are within five feet of a hostile creature who can see okay. you and who isn't incapacitated. Okay. Um... So I'd have disadvantage. All right. Well, then could I uh, melee attack him without taking an opportunity attack? Which one? The one that the you guy on his knee. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. No, he no, is ten I'm, feet from you. He is ten ten feet. From you. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move to try to finish him off. Okay. So the first Noel takes his opportunity attack and misses. The second one takes an opportunity attack and crits. 
Um. Okay. So you take 16 slashing damage from a short sword. 16, okay. Um, Hellish Rebuke on that guy? Okay. Is that does that count as a spell? That's not a spell, right? That's that's a reaction. Yeah, it's a reaction, but it's not a it spell. It does not count as a spell. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a it's a cl- a race feature. Yeah. Then Hellish Rebuke on that guy. Which is a what, a dex saving throw? A dex save, yeah. So he got a nine. Uh, that's not going to do it. All right. So roll your 3d10. Thirteen. Okay. So um, after having a pistol explode in his face... And he's like, I'm going to get him real good. He gets you with that sword, and then, like, another explosion happens in his face. So his, his face is just even more blackened and sooted. Uh, but now you can make your attack. So, Hellish Rebuke, he takes the... You took damage from that, right? To do that. Okay, okay. Just let you know you're also me too. You're muted. Oh, why am I muted? Oh, because I, because I hit the fucking minus button on my character sheet. Um. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that's a uh, seventeen. Seventeen to hit. Hits. Yes. Okay. Don't even roll damage. He falls over dead. As nice. Soon as the knife even okay. touches his his skin. Okay, um, I'm going to use whatever rest of my movement that I have left to so you would have move 20, out 20. of. Yeah, I'm going to use all 20 of that, I think, to um, get out of that situation to get away. From well, that. you're you're moving that 10 feet pulled you out of combat with those two. You went right, to a completely yeah. different. So you are like you're not in combat with anything oh uh, yeah and they could still get to me if i only yep. move 20 feet okay so yeah i guess i'm just going to uh not move uh make sure i'm uh you're in a basically position like that i could maybe whip around and time right now so you 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 have each other's backs at this moment okay are both of are both of the ones that are left um in the same direction yes okay so I'm going to move that to kind of just move to the side. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one that has taken, like, the, your Hello Tribute, he looks rough. Uh, and the other one looks, he looks okay. He's not bad. He's not great. Okay. And then there's the one that's far, who's perfectly fine. And then there's Big Lizard Man. Take it. Right. So, let's see. so it is now the lizard in the back. Uh, he takes his turn to reload his pistols, two shots, and that's his turn. Then, so the knoll that is burnt is now like moving towards. Clementine to attack with his short sword. And he swings twice and misses twice. Yeah. Duke, it is now your turn. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you have uh, um, Yeah, you, that's right, I do. You have a rage fight right in front of you because mm-hmm. you're raging, he's raging, he's looking you down. Yep. He sees you as the biggest threat in the group. Yeah, I'm gonna uh you have advantage. I'm gonna attack him twice. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that is a 18. 
hits. Do we roll damage right after or just roll both hits? Uh, you can... Doesn't matter. If it's a crit, I want you to roll the damage. Okay. But you can just roll a second attack. Uh, second is a seven. So that does not... With advantage? Wait, no, I did, I did not roll with advantage. Did you roll oh, the first with advantage? Then? No, I didn't. So, so the second one would have been seven. Okay. So then that's a... You, you still would have hit on the first the one. The first one, yep. Twelve. And then roll again. Yeah, I, I did. Twelve was the higher of the no, two. No, I'm, okay. I'm, okay. I'm saying your your first roll were those first two rolls. So you yeah, have yeah, one yeah. more dice roll. No, so that was 18 and 7, and then I just rolled a 12 and an 11. Oh, okay. So ah. 12 would be the highest of the second okay. two. So that does not... <laughs> plus all your modifiers would bring you to... Yeah. Uh... 17? Wait, 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 what? Are you adding you your, like, your attack bonuses? Yeah, I haven't rolled that yet. No, you no, get, no, saying, like, you get to attack. add proficiency and strength to your attack rolls. You like roll chance to hit? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, so you roll your chance 12, to hit. You get You've to know, we've roll. told you this multiple times before. This You're is just the third time now, that we've told you. <laughs> I swear to God. Anything in a really long time. All right. So, I, I so on, your, on, your your character sheet, on your character yeah. sheet, it will say, like, <laughs> plus, plus five attack bonus next to your hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you roll a d20, you or add just says a plus, plus strength, five. But yeah. So it's your strength plus proficiency. So I think it's what three and three, six plus six. Oh, yeah. So you so the roll first one a twelve. 24. So in that yeah. case, it would be a eighteen, an 18 and a twenty something. Four. Twenty four. So, yes. so both of them would hit. Both would hit. Profi yes. You're proficient with. I your need weapon. to like. Uh, need you right. guys to send me this episode you keep talking about. So there's, so there's this podcast thing that your friends do. It's pretty shitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's got no budget. Nope. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I'm rolling my damage. Your friends do it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't put a price on friendship. Twenty bucks. That's just, just fucking twenty bucks. You give me twenty bucks, I'll stop right. talking about it. Yep. <laughs> right to extra life. You can go ahead and do that right fucking, where is it? Right here, right there. Good old extra life right there. $20, we'll stop talking about this shitty podcast that people listen to for 69 episodes. No, they won't. Uh, <laughs> no, we won't. I'll 20 minutes, 20 at least 20 minutes. Talking about it. Right. So I'm, I'm adding my rage damage and patches bonus as well to my rolls, right? Yeah, you can roll a Not d4 if you want. Not to damage. Not on the damage. Oh, Only to hit. To the attack. Or like yeah. a, oh. a saving. But you hit with both of them. Yeah. yeah. To attack. Uh, to, to roll a Okay. Save. Gotcha. Okay. No so just my, just my rage good. damage on top of that. So that is a 11 yeah. and a 9. So 20 Pretty damage short. total. Let's see. Good job. You add your modifier too. Please. <laughs> yeah. My what? Uh, I don't no, know if that was sarcastic strength. or not. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Welcome. Yeah, I did. Plus, plus rage bonus too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did my strike so, plus rage. You hit him you the... real good. You Shut see, up. like, good purchase, but you see, like, he's not really phased by the hits. It's almost as if he's like numbing the pain. Distant. Oh. Similar good. to what you do. Yeah, that sucks. It's Similar whiskey. to what you do. Uh, I'm assuming because he raged earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. Ironhide. Ironhide. Unless you have a bonus action, it is now Ironhide's turn. Can you nope, rage again? It. No. Can I? Rage again? I don't know. I rage. So. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> raged for the rest of the fight. I, I, think. Like, I just want to see what he's, he's been attacking. Shut up. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I mean, he doesn't listen to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> What's a podcast? I do have more rages before my next long rest, so like, I you don't guess maybe I could. Them. I don't think I could do anything. But doesn't add you're anything. still raging. Yeah, yeah, you're still raging. Put it though. Shut up! You are trying to confuse things, and I want to throw done. you out a window. Stop it! I'm done. I started. Yeah. My turn now. I'm good. All right. So I have it. Does my spiritual weapon have no. advantage? No. It doesn't. Why wouldn't it? It doesn't. It's not it's a not creature. A pre yes. But he attacked recklessly. No. I don't give a 
I'm asking the DM. I don't care about your opinion. It does not. It Thank you, Vandal. It cannot be granted advantage. We've done this before. We've had this conversation multiple times. So many times. times. You don't deserve that. I rolled a natural 20 to hit with the spiritual weapon. <laughs> yeah. Makes me mad. <laughs> I stared at it and I was like, no. Roll over. That's about right. Yeah, Three that's points of right. force damage. Plus, you get your wisdom modifier too. Oh, sweet. So six points of force damage? Yes. Okay. I've been there um, for a long time. With my action, I would like to cast inflict wounds i can't okay. hear that without thinking inflict at bounds. third level i wanted to say inflict bounds so bad <laughs> what is, it? is that a save or an I, attack i get to touch him and i have advantage because he roll. went attack reckless yeah attack. Keep casting it up third third level ah oh, what kind of bullshit so 14 doesn't one? do it does it no. no i rolled two eights <laughs> Wait, do you do you have your own advantage? You get a D four, right? Yeah. He reckless attacked. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Does a seventeen hit? That's the number. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just seeing those two eights. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, Beth started laughing immediately. Roll that beautiful bean damage. All right, so uh, that was split. so good. <laughs> mounds it first level does 3d10 so that would be uh, four five d10 Ooh. only you'd crit it on that one yeah Ooh. dangerous as hell no i know that's all i can think when i see when i see it now <laughs> every time so, what about pounds inflict pounds <laughs> yeah, you just make, you just make real really fat, fat. <laughs> oh no what happened Blah. <laughs> ask me, ask me. Turn into like Jabba the Hutt. That's the big deuce deuce on necrotic damage. That's 22. Nice. Good. Good roll. So you like, you give him a grandma pinch on his like leg, and you see like his leg just turns like a gross black color, and he's like, he immediately hey there, shifts his gaze to you. There it is. Ruh-roh. No, I'm fine with that. I was like, don't you have like an obscene amount of armor? I do, actually. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Out of everybody here? Yeah. This yes. dude's got a plus 10, though. He's got to roll like a 20 or like an 11 to hit you, right? Yeah. So actually, it is now. Seven. Malcolm's turn. turn. That's Malcolm's turn. Yay. I'm Thank 35 you. feet from big guy. Mm -hmm. How far am I from Clementine and Val? 55. 55, okay. They're in increments of 20. So you're 75 feet from the one furthest away. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I was trying to think of how fat, how, if, if I could get to either of them. All right, I think I'm going to uh, stop at 35 feet from Big Dude, keeping staying in, within 60 feet of the other guys. Uh,. I'm going to uh, use my bonus action and uh, summon my uh, spell book where I'm standing. And then I'm going to run 25 feet closer to uh, Sal and Clementine. And uh, you're going to see uh, my book. They uh, go like this and shoot quills oh, wah, wah. out of it. Uh, at the big dude again. And okay. you see, you hear me yell, Quill time! <laughs> it's the books that shoot quills out of their mouth. I'm gonna make you a quilt. <laughs> uh, and I'll do it again at third level. Okay. I know it's a quill, like... For writing, but I keep picturing like porcupine quills for some I think reason. It's Peter. I mean, don't people use porcupine quills for writing utensils? He's just shooting that Star Lord. Peter quills? I don't think so because they're barbed. That was not good. Why am I rolling? Uh, good 10. 
force damage. Uh, you see the, the quill stick inside of him and he, he's like... Mm. Uh, you, poisoning. you notice that he hasn't said a word since he's gone uh, raging. Oh my god. God damn it. Fucking shit. You good, champ? That's my turn. Oh, no, I have a class feature that I have not been using and I'm pissed about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, it is now Gut Draper's turn. I only shot anything at you. Uh, he turns... And looks at Ironhide. Hello. <laughs> hey, dude, and you don't see him have a reaction. Can I do it? I think it's I only when it. I'm being attacked. Uh, or your thing, it. you mean? Gotcha. What thing? My thing. He can use his reaction, his reaction teleport to take unoccupied space. Oh. Uh. You see him I have to say that before he uh... go to swing the axe. I have to take the damage. I have to hit. I have to get hit. Uh, gotcha. He's reckless attacking and taking a minus five as well. Oh, nice. Oh, you're gonna roll a two. shit. You're going to roll a two. You're going to roll a two. Would you say that out? He's going to roll a two. It's cool. He's going to roll two twos because he's vandal. So an 18. <laughs> Just hit. You rolled a three. No, you rolled a... Uh, I can't math. Stop anyway, shaking. It's not working for you. Go on. <laughs> I rolled a 13. You're yep. pissing off, fate. How, <laughs> I'm oh, trying. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop how it. Does, he's already dead. How does, how does it... How does that work? The thing? The emboldening bond thing work? Hmm. Allow me to explain. So you can use your reaction <laughs> to teleport to an unoccupied space and take the damage for... When a creature affected by your emboldening bond is about to take damage, the second bonded creature within 30 feet of it can first use its reaction to teleport to an occupied space within 5 feet of it. The second creature takes the damage and all the damage is dead. And that was okay. unoccupied, not occupied. Yep. Never, the way you said it, mind. you said it first pass. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Second attack. Suicide, well, I was Malcolm. Thinking, Please, I was thinking Malcolm. I could take the da- I couldn't take the damage, but I could use shield and block it. <laughs> like, But I'm using my yeah, reaction to get there. So it Second yeah. attack is a yeah. 23. Oh, that certainly. Mm. That's, that's way above the AC. Okay. That was going to hurt. So the sec, the first attack, I don't know if I'm going to take that damage first. So go ahead. Give it to me. Are you going to use your thing or am I going to hit? I'm going to get a hit. Just let him yeah, say sure. it. I'll, 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 I'll port. Because I'm, I'm only taking one of those oh. two hits, right? If I do it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Okay. Cater's taking the first hit. Yep. And it's half damage. Exactly. I was gonna say, so it's you take have. 26 slashing damage, cut in half to 13. 13. Okay. So <laughs> he he brings it down. It's about to hit you, and the the teleport happens, and it goes. And he's hey there, confused, dude. and so he swings it back Whoa. the other way and brings it back down. Am I taking this one? Yes. I don't know. Oh, I'm asking Malcolm. <laughs> 25 about it. I'm... <laughs> I'll fucking do it. I'm Am I doing taking it. it? Yeah, my man. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, Malcolm. Uh, oh, this Malcolm, is a, you a have bad a big you, axe gash across. Um, ah! <laughs> and, and he died. He's That's going to be him. like two thirds of your health, right? <laughs> Bring two thirds? How much health do you think he has? That's a lot of health. <laughs> I'd say like three quarters. Uh, it's like half of his health. Yeah. He uses uh Christ. <laughs> that would be half of mine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have killed me. <laughs> That's why I gave it to Malcolm and not you. I could, the, could have helped. You could he have helped, uses but his you bonus action. You have to take back. another melee attack against Ironhide. Oh, hey. All right. I'll take this one. <laughs> he really wants to hit you. I have. I'll take this one. Thanks, guys. He's mad. Thanks, guys. I sir, Your healer would have been down. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. I have <laughs> terrible news for Ironhide. Did you crit? Critted. Yeah. Yeah, give it to me. Roll it. Mm. You're going to roll low. Shut up. <laughs> I know. I hate this. I, I, 
Go ahead. I'm mathing. Shut up. 80 million damage. 12. 34 You'll slashing die. damage. Wait, so, um, hold on. Hold on. Let's Still go. Standing, he says. Uh, how far away is he? He is 20 feet from you. One second. 25 feet from you. I don't know what he can do. I'm not going to write anything. In well, speech. technically, you used your reaction last time, though. Did I? Lawyer for other people. Sorry. It, it was Rebuke. just. Did, I used it was Hellish Rebuke. And your turn is this is back. this the top or the bottom of the round? And your turn has not his. come back. So you have not come back to it's your turn. It's per round, round though. Yep. Yeah. It's the, the, uh, your you round starts on your yeah. turn. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. So you use it on your turn. All right. Fine. Sorry. You moved away. Fine. Okay. I get it. Never mind. Good try. Thank you, sir. It was a very good try. It's right there. Uh, right. I want to. I wanted to use shield, but I can't use two reactions either. So I use my reaction yeah. to take that damage. How much damage? Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay. Oh. Ow. Hey everyone, use your braces. Never mind. You got. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't do that is the end of his though. turn. So. What a. That's so. Thank you guys for evenly to. Sure. Distributing that damage right there, that was that was clutch. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Yep. Um, Thank you. <laughs> it is now no I can't believe turn. He took that. I thought he, he died. Nope. Oh, the no B no, was the one. No B is terrified of Sal right now. Oh no B is frightened. That okay. was, so yeah, I, I was picturing them I'm in the opposite name, spots. I'm gonna name No B um Franklin. Jared. Oh. Uh, Franklin. He, just, he moves thirty <laughs> feet away towards one of the tethers and that right. is um, actually wasn't he in melee with me though he yeah was. you get you get an mm -hmm. attack of opportunity if you want i'm gonna do it as do i don't i but he's going to oh, sudden yeah. rush and until the end of his turn his speed increases by 60 feet and doesn't provoke opportunity attacks i have sentinel though and i ignore that oh don't what Damn. can you read sentinel to me uh, I'll queue it up even if we don't if we need it. References. Player. Can attack even if target uses. Oh, it has to use the disengage feature. Let me double check that because I, I wrote it like quickly. You have mastered techniques to take advantage on every drop in the enemy's guard. Gain the following benefits. You when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero. No, I don't care about that. Because if he's dissing, it's, it, it specifically says if they take the disengage action. So if it's like a feature. He's not if disengaging. If it's, if it's called the disengage action on his end, then yes, I I ignore that. But if it's not. Wait, it so called, what's he? He's using his ability called Sudden Rush. Okay. Until the end right. of his turn, his speed increases by 60 feet and doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. It yeah, don't so. happen. No, so. that's not true. It has to be the disengage action specifically. Yeah, so he doesn't mm -hmm. take any opportunity attack, no matter what. Okay. Correct. Yeah, yeah. so I can't. Like fly by. So like fly by. Burn out. He runs to the tether and runs up the tether. And that is the opposite direction for me, right? Yes. He he goes okay. away from you up one of the ships. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he is removed from combat. Dope. Noldy is dead. That's too Clem. Where are you at? <laughs> Clementine, it is your turn. As Clem just bludgeoned a man to like an inch of his life. Oh yeah, and I still her kill um, on, a, on one HP. <laughs> I'm. I have like forty hit point or forty hit points. No. Must have, be fucking my nice. Speed is, my speed is forty. <laughs> what? is around me what's can i get to the big scary thing like all the other stuff around me is like more than 60 feet away right um nope you can get to everything you can get to the guy that's in the back and been shooting at people you can get to the one that's left there and you can get to the lizard man you are tw you are five feet from a lizard man or 10 feet from a lizard man 20 feet from a lizard man uh Noel, Noel, 20 feet from a lizard. 
if I okay, so if I get to if I go up to where that lizard dude is, I can. I'm sure there's like fucking eight people over there. I'm sure I can get there, advantage there wherever are I stand. Two people in melee combat, and you would get an advantageous position. Yes. Three. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Right, are there are in, three there. Oh, yeah, there are three. So you would have to be on the far side. <laughs> no, we're all just fucking clustered. Yeah, but I can get. I can get over. Yes. Hashtag team badass so over that's what here. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put myself <laughs> in that advantageous position, and I'm gonna. Because I, I said earlier, like way earlier, that I used my quarter staff, but I don't think I grabbed it when I left my room, so I don't have it. Um, so I'm just gonna, just gonna punch him in his crap lousy face. <laughs> Twenty six to hit. That hits. <sighs> and then I'm gonna punch uh, hands of harm into this, mm -hmm. and use my stupid feature. That I should have used earlier. Oh, what's that feature? I can subject him to the poison condition, so he has disadvantage on everything till the end of my next turn. Okay. <laughs> so Ouch. he gets seven bludgeoning damage plus five necrotic damage. And he's poisoned. And he's poisoned. Okay. No poison damage. He's just poisoned. Can he be poisoned? That's a good question. Yep. Who knows? Okay. Yep, that's the question. He's not a mean. Yes, to it. and then. I use my I'll use my second attack. That sucks. That's not gonna hit for a uh, sixteen. That does not nine hit. nine twice. And that's my turn. Okay. One key point left, and I want to save to do the same thing. Salad is your turn. Okay. All right. Fun times. Um, I'm going <laughs> to so. There's the one back in the back, and then there's the guy right in front of me. And Clem, you yep. attacked the big guy, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna disengage. You're not. I'm in gonna move with anything. Oh, then I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna. Okay. I thought I was within five feet of the other guy too. Nope. You're ten feet right. away from him. Uh, then I'm going to maneuver to try to get a sneak attack off on uh big guy. Okay. Would uh, I, mean, I have advantage for that, right? Regardless. Yeah. <laughs> I lost that die. Oh God. You need a dice tray. <laughs> so See, that was so I have a dice tray. It went out. I know. It, it needs fencing. Ooh, Chicken ooh, wire. I'm glad I have advantage. That'll work. Uh, so I'm going to use my rapier on this one. That is a 22. That hits. It's not working. Okay. Max damage. All right. Woo! 11 plus. A bunch of D6. <laughs> These have been good. Uh, so that's 20 all day. So he takes 10 He's... damage total. Yeah. Um. You're like, you stab him in the back of, like, his calf. And you see him, like, he's starting to, to buckle a little, but he's still holding up. Cool, cool. So now Get it that is... Dice go. Uh, the knoll in the back. It is now his turn. Uh, seeing the onslaught happening to his boss, he also uses his sudden rush ability to escape and he's going up the same tether as the other one. So he has removed himself from combat. The other knoll is moving up 20 feet behind Sal and he's going to stab at you twice with advantage. Sentinel. No, he's not. Ooh. I'm assuming Sal and I are next to each other. I mean, yep. we're all over there. Yeah, that was uh, kind of. So, so, and I also get to attack him. That's my reaction. Do you is your attack happen first or after he makes his attacks? When a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against target other than you, and that target doesn't have this feet, they don't. Yeah, as long as it doesn't have Sentinel, I can do that. If it has Sentinel, then I can't. But I'm saying, does your attack happen first or after his attacks? 
I imagine it would, because if I hit, it can't attack Sal at all. It has to attack me. Yep. It has to attack you. I well, think so. That's how it works. Right? When you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, uh, so when you hit a creature within five... No, I mean, you can try and kill it, but I mean... No, I guess it can still hit him, but I can still... I get to hit it. You hit it first. Yeah, so I... Yeah, I would hit it, I think. It doesn't actually say, to be honest. When a creature within five feet even makes an attack against the target, so it doesn't hit it with the target. It makes an attack, yep. Yeah, Bingo. Right. That makes sense. I'm gonna hit Sal. Nope, I'm gonna hit you first. So I'm gonna try to hit oh. him first, but it's... And if you yeah. don't hit him, then he hits Sal. Well, I mean, I either way. I hit Sal, Sal regardless. I think he yeah. hits him either way, yeah. Unless, it, unless she kills him. Unless I kill him, but I'm not going to kill him in one hit. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Maybe. So I rolled a 15 and a crit on my attacks. Gross. Cool. I rolled cool. a 17 to hit him. That hits. So. Takes seven bludgeoning damage. You could try to stun him. I'm not using my last key point for that. I'm sorry. Fair enough. Because then he doesn't hit him if he fails at all. So I yeah, but my, the 15 my... does not hit you, Sal. So. Uh, yeah, 15 does not hit. Ooh. Crit does. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. My, my 15 hit. hit. Is so low 15 to hit. Yeah. Oh. It's like 10. Uh, you take nine slashing damage okay. from the first hit. And then 10 slashing damage from the crit. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, <laughs> that is the end of his turn. Okay. Oh, you flexing? Flex. Get ready. Just trying to now remember to roll your, to remember to roll pits. your D20 <laughs> with advantage, number one, and add things to it. <laughs> hey, you have oh, bonuses okay. well, kind of your rolls. There are things that Where you can... Where can I find out what things can be added? <laughs> on your character sheet, there's this thing called proficiency bonus. <laughs> no, I just meant, you know, a you general add... overall learning of uh, those things. Oh, well, Critical Role does yes, a great called... thing called Handbooker <laughs> yeah, Helper. <laughs> yeah. So there's Handbooker helper. helper. Yeah. And handbooker. then there's also this thing called reading the handbook. Read the PHP. It Sounds tells you, like, hey, the... yeah, I know. I know. You can go read to Walmart yeah, and, a and get a PHP. It's 30, 30 bucks. There's a set where you could even DM. Sounds like significantly more work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> you should just listen to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> when you and drive to work. <laughs> All right. I don't drive to work. Though. When you walk to work. I work at home. Lizard man in front of you. What are yeah, you doing? Exactly. You walk hey, me too. Home. I work at home. Uh... Uh... <laughs> you walk Eight. around home. Eight. Is he looking like at all phased? Like, he how looks he hurt. Doing? He is. He has labored breathing, and he is like his legs look a little shaky, but he is still standing. <sighs> Do I want to just big dick this? Yes. Hell yeah, uh -huh. fucking slap yeah. it. I feel like we're at that point. Yes. hundred yes. percent. You are, are the damage all dealer. completely surrounding him. <laughs> like this is the time. <laughs> if the captain was going down right now, he would say smoke him if you got him. Okay. So um <laughs> Duke is gonna Can give a little him? little tap a tap of his belt. <laughs> and then he's gonna extra attack on this guy. Okay, so make your two attacks. Yep. Are you adding the tap tap to both attacks or just one? You can choose. Oh. What do the tap taps do? I don't know, but I'm excited. I don't, I'm, I'm, gonna, not. I'm gonna do both if we're going big dick okay. with it, I mean. And what you damage dice are you choosing? Which what? What damage dice are you choosing? You can choose up to a d12. Oh yeah, we're doing d12. Okay. <laughs> So add a d12 to each attack, but remember, you're going to take a d12 of damage from each attack. Yep. <laughs> what type of damage? 
It's Doesn't whatever say. damage he does, and it's not mitigated by reduction. Yep. I specifically I wrote it in the reduction. item. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. It's like taking your life force. It's like magic. Yeah. Emo mancy shit. I get it. Fuck All right. It. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> so that is uh for my my hits with advantage. I got two twenty fives. Oh shit! For your first roll. Uh no, it, it was for both rolls. Yeah, both. both. Okay. I had so like a hit? a seven and a so one you in hit there. Both times, so two d twelve for each one. Plus your bonuses. Yep. Okay. Ah. But the the D twelve for my belt's on top of my normal damage, correct? Yes. Okay. So I'll roll two D twelve and then. Oh, add that's your what bonuses. you said. Yep. Two D twelve twice, right? Yep. Right. Two D twelve yeah. each hit. Plus okay. Plus ten. Yeah. Let me just math for a sec. Four D twelve plus ten. Basically, that is what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's the math. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Roll uh -huh. your d12 four times and then add, and then add 10. 10. Did you hit twice? Yes. We. Yeah. We. Da. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll cover it in abyssal. <laughs> this is a oh. lot. <laughs> this is um, fun. okay. So, first one, 21. Second wait. is a 10. Wait, 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 wait. So, stop. Yep. Hang on. Because I feel like we've confused you. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Because when okay. I said to roll 4d12 plus 10, that's both of them. That was both hits. So, it'd be, if you did 2d12 and 2d12, it's plus up 5 and plus 5. How are you guys talking? Yeah. About? Okay. What did you? <laughs> How did you Just get to twenty-one stop, on your first stop? Hit? Stop. I'm done. Two d twelve plus five for your first hit. Two d twelve right. plus five for your second hit. Why plus five? That's your strength you and your and your, your rage strength bonus. and your rage bonus. Which is why they said four d twelve plus ten. That would be that all would of be your damage. Two hits all together. So, okay. Math things. Where, what was it? Give me a sec. I think I'd I mean, fucked up. 21 is feasible if you rolled high enough for your d12. Dude, you so five, so I, just, I rolled yeah. a 12. Yeah, you're dead. Yep. Yeah. You're adding a second d12 because of your belt. So okay. each hit is 2d12 plus 5. Okay. All right. Can I just re-roll for that second one then? You you can... Just now that I where, know what I'm... Where you're all confused, yeah. you can re-roll the damage for both of them. Okay. So do one at a time. Yep. Math is hard, guys. We got too ambitious, yeah. is what happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It's because Pat likes okay. to push everyone to their limits. And he's like, you can add all these dice at once to do it. Everyone yelling at once. Yep. No, okay. So my <laughs> yep. so I essentially have like two rubble. hits. Yeah. Yes. So first one is still 21. Right. Uh, right. Second damage. Second is 12. But seven and five of those hits can't be halved. So those were for my belt. That aren't affected by damage reduction, right? No, the, the damage dice you take isn't affected by damage reduction. Uh, so you can't be you raging can and be like, I'm just going to slap my belt all the time. Yeah, gotcha. It's Got it. Reward. Okay. No, it's, there's no reward. Yeah, there it takes more damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both those hits, and you see him like he's starting to like he's going down to one knee, and he's but he's not prone. Really... No, he is not prone. And he is having labored breathing. You see him; he's holding on to his axe, and he's putting his hand down on the other one, on like the floor, trying to like steady himself. 
Uh, Ironhide, it is your turn. So first of all, first of all, bonus action, spiritual weapon, kabonk. Mm-hmm. You crit again? I sure did! <laughs> I sure did! Nice <laughs> even! Oh my god! No, that was the same one, wasn't it? No, that's a different one. I created with this one because it has yellow numbers. Uh, 2d8. Let's roll this one again. Aw. Aw. Four points of force damage. Plus three. So seven. seven. Thank you. Um. Son of a gun. So I watched the axe come down on Duke and then Malcolm. And then myself. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my hand on Malcolm and I say, thanks, little buddy. Uh, we got this. You can go ahead and take a step back now. And uh, I'm gonna put my hand on him and uh, cast Cure Wounds at third level. Okay. And hopefully not roll like shit. Uh, where is the other dice? That makes are my you decision doing... on what I want to do next. Uh, are you what? doing anything else with your turn? <laughs> Uh, no, because I'm not moving out of this good space. Okay, so figure out the healing, and Malcolm, go ahead and take your turn. Um, these boats that are above us, how far above us are they? They're, they're like 150. Said 99. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, is modifier. 22. Deuce, deuce. I, put, I keep duking it. I love you, but god damn it, you I, know I, better. I'm duking it. Okay. It's contagious um, now. They are like 150, 200 feet above you. That's awesome, by the way. 22. That's great healing. I would like Holy to. Uh, I pull out. I pull out the Pez dispenser I got, like early, early uh, game, uh, that mm -hmm. has the fire candy in it. Okay. Wow. Uh, I would like to. Um, <laughs> I would like to pop one of those in my mouth, uh, and then I'm going to uh, <laughs> use all of my movement and my dash action, if I can, to uh, try to run up the rope as far as I can, 50 feet or so. Well, you're like 40 feet away from the rope. All right, well, then I'm going to run 50 feet to the rope then. Fine. No, you know what? I'll run to, to the rope, and I'm just gonna shoot the fire onto the rope then, and hope that the rope catches fire and brings the fire up to the boat. Is their boat made of metal or wood? <laughs> you can't really tell what it's made out of because it's two hundred we'll feet above you. Is their rope made yeah. of metal or wood? It's actually a <laughs> You keep saying Either. rope. I was definitely picturing like a chain. It's made of hemp. You're all fucking high now. Yes. These all the pain. I don't think that's how that works. It's not the like same thing. So you run over. <laughs> no. And as you're running over, you're like, "Fuck you!" And you breathe the fire out. And you watch the rope catch fire. And then within the rest of the three seconds of the round that it took you to get over there, you watch it just ignite straight up to the boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I was I was expecting it to go out and maybe like, oh, well, next turn I'm going to throw grease onto the rope with my bell <laughs> and then do it. But I'm just going to start a bunch of grease fires on our ship. <laughs> it's metal. Someone it's else's fine. ship. That's okay. true. It is metal. Cook some eggs. Smother it. Yeah. Yeah, smother it. Yeah. Uh, good. Anything else like for your it. turn? Nope. <laughs> oh, I was in melee range, so I'll I'll use my misty step. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> um. Bye. Anyone who is in melee range with Gut Draper, make That's 
a dexterity saving throw. And Duke see it. That's exactly what I was about to ask. Uh, Duke, Does can the... you see it? Yay. Does the poison condition <laughs> affect what he's about to do at all? No. Okay. Is do there I any to... like bullshit my way to get an advantage? Nope. I say I get to add a D4 from uh, Ironhide, right? From his little. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I get to add a D4 from Ironhide. Thank you. And you yeah. have advantage. <laughs> it helped. Duke. Gee, yeah. He does. I'm done. That was a 21 for me. Also a 21 for First me. First fucking good thing nice. I rolled a minute. Sexy boys. You go ahead. Oh. Uh, I 15. I rolled I rolled low. You me. guys so jacked. Far less impressive. <laughs> um, Single digit. Seven. Not lucky. You see Gut Draper reach into his, like, one of his, like, assortments of guts that are hanging on him that he wears as clothing his guts for and he pulls out a red vial uh sal and duke you both are like grabbing at his arms and like you're holding him but he throws you both down to the side and he throws the vial on the ground and you just see this red splat shoot out like 15 feet from like the center he, he's at the center and it's just it looks like paint. It just looks like paint. There's nothing special about it. Like, it doesn't set on fire. Nothing happens. That's his turn. Can I just be like, what the fuck, man? Yep, you can be like that if you want. <laughs> These boots are new. Uh, he... This picture of Duke being barefoot, so now he's just got bloody away, So he's out of this. Sal, it so is have, your like... turn. A really so bad with, feeling about that. Yeah. With the dexterity we saving really throws, quick. did we, did we like not get any of the pain on us? Is that what happened? Uh, it was to try to prevent him from throwing the vial. Oh, okay. So, like you were grabbing his arms, trying to prevent him from throwing it on the ground. Okay. All right. God damn. Uh, you missed it by one. It was twenty-two. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. I know uh, I got Dexy people. I got to make it kind of hard. KK, uh, going to. Um, yeah, gonna sneak attack again. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that still an advantage, right? Yes. Uh, 17. That hit. Cool, cool, cool. This one's the combat knife. <laughs> uh, four plus. Oh, uh, 13. 18. So he takes nine total damage. Uh, he falls back down to the one knee and just (laughs) (laughs) he's just laughing hate this guy Uh, so that's me gonna disengage and Mm -hmm. move uh, 20 feet opposite direction of the guy that's coming behind Uh, Duke uh, you don't see the guy that was behind. He's gone. Huh. Yeah, he ran off up the rope too. Duke, it is your turn. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like a sinister laughing. Hmm? Um I'm just gonna, I guess, swing at him. Do okay. my extra attacks. Question: Did I get skipped? Yes. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, yeah you did. You should have. Yeah, you should have been before me. Turn. <laughs> Clem's turn. <laughs> I was like, I Sorry. think I was supposed to go. Um, 
The general confusion made you delay your action. <laughs> I, I was confused. And I have a question about is it really it just is it is it legitimately just like paint? Because in my head You don't know. To me it looks like a target for some sort of maybe a weapon above that's us that's I, gonna fire I, down. I also thought yeah. that yeah. Like in the target. Um, you, know. you don't know. And it, if I had the spell prestidigitation, I would use it to get rid of it, but I don't because I don't cast spells. So I have an idea for it, but I'm gonna have to ask if I saw it in the yeah. turn. Um, so not having any of the things I wish I had in this moment as a seasoned player, I will just punch <laughs> this fucker in the face, <laughs> like grab the back of his head and hold his hair. If he has any his horns, his fucking scales, whatever. And just uh, uh, twice in the face. He's a giant lizard folk. So he's, so his, I grab his lizard hair roll to it. He has hair. So, yep. I don't know. <laughs> roll his to, lizard roll. ears. Make rolls. Let's see if this happens. Punch in his lizard teeth. 17. With advantage, right? 17 yeah. hits. 17. Yep. And, um... Okay, 17. So he takes 7 bludgeoning damage. It's How magical bludgeoning it? damage. Don't... How do you want to do it? Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> I... He had 3 HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is so close. As I I punch him so hard that I just punch through his skull, through the skull. <laughs> All right. I so respect. you're like, it's like one of those scenes where you see some dude just start like ground pounding. He's on. You're just unleashing upon his skull, and it's just like, and you're just caving his skull in. And you're like, you're heaving. You're like, huh, 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 huh. nobody touch me. <laughs> Everyone make a perception check. Ah, fucking, it's like a missile or some shit. I know it. <sighs> Do I have to? Dan, what was the question, Patch? <laughs> Patch, what Can was I the question? the deck save. So, um, I assume I see him like, get, like there's paint on the deck. Um, also, can I please use my bonus action to heal myself a little bit with my bracelet? Sure. It was still in your turn, so yes. Yeah, well, I know. That's why I was like... Well, well, technically, when you kill him, we're out of initiative. So that's you what I was going to say, yeah. Could I use press has... digitation then to clean the paint? Hold on. Has you, has you as a character wouldn't have necessarily known to do that. Right, Sorry. My Could bad. I roll intelligence for that? Let me finish. <laughs> okay. Is All right. Bond still stop. active since Road of Combat? <laughs> I keep getting interrupted, so I can't. Oh, go, finish. go, go! You're in charge. Yeah, last go, ten minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we can add that. What the f I completely spaced on what Patch's question was because we kept getting everywhere. What was your question? Did I see the goop? The targeting thing. The red paint? You you, you just know, know it's a red liquid on the deck. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You also rolled like a 7, so. I rolled like a 12 on my perception, so oh, that's I 15. I rolled a 7 on my perception. Yeah, you know. a 2. Okay. Sal, make your intelligence check. I rolled a, I rolled a 18. You were off at the rope, so you did not see him throw the, the vial. Oh, you said roll. You, were... you said roll a perception check, so oh, I rolled a. I'm, it's not for that. This oh, is okay. seventeen. Um, you know that it's a red substance that isn't flammable because it doesn't have that. Like it doesn't have a gasoline smell. It doesn't have an oil smell or anything. You just know it's a red substance of some sort. You wouldn't know if it's a targeting thing or if it was like maybe a potion that he was trying to use. You don't. But I think I think Sal could reason that it probably shouldn't be there, and I think that's enough reason for me to try to clean it up. He was very happy about throwing it down. I feel like that's that's a fair assumption that oh, I don't want it to be there. Point. I was going to make. Yeah. Plus his creepy laugh. I mean, that was that was right. Yeah, yeah. My he, argument. His whole vibe when he threw it down was, "You don't want this to be here." 
So I have like a that's spell that might be able to aid this. I feel like that's okay. That's like reasoning. I like that. So it is a fifteen foot from him. So from him, fifteen feet in each direction. So it's a okay. is it, was that a thirty, 30 foot, foot radius? Yeah. So it is Just huge. Press the digitation. Yeah, you can. It, only it would do, like, not take up all of it. You would. How take about up a thirty a foot cube? I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> Give me those. Spells. A thirty foot cube I is have not first... as big as a thirty foot radius. But I still have I still have a first level spell slot to do that. I know I know what you're talking. About. I want to would... create water. Create okay. Water. And water spreads out. Red... Boop. Well, that there is now a huge, huge red. Even smells kind of like fruit. Paste Ooh, all man. over the top of the deck. Oh. I definitely can't clean that up. <laughs> now we're going to get to the perception checks. Seven. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, Thirteen. Oops. Bad guys. Seventeen teen. Oh, and Malcolm. Okay. Eighteen. Anyone <laughs> that was above a fourteen... Nope. You see the ship that the rope was on fire... The fire goes up, and you see, like, nothing's happening, and there's an explosion. Oh, shit. And you see it start to, like, teeter over towards the other airship in the air. Oh, it collides. Good. That ship starts going off, but the impact of that one drops the other one right on top of you guys. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is bad. How big is... Like, how big are these ships compared to ours? Uh, they are roughly the same size. Sick. <laughs> yep, nice. <laughs> uh, uh, nope. Malcolm, Jeff. you hear a whip whip. Do I have time for this? <laughs> you, you have time. <laughs> I press the button. Um, she says. Tell everybody to hold on to the deck. I yell, hold on, but uh, instead I I run towards... Every, they're all in the middle still, over by the... Yeah, they're the all spill. over by the... I the, run over there. You see me as I run. The quill turns into my hand, and I'm writing in my book. And I say, everyone down! <laughs> and I cast... My ritual as an action, <laughs> Liamin's tiny hut around us. Yes. Yes. On the deck of the ship. Beautiful. And yes. Knowing that this other ship's going to land directly on us or we're taking off, we are going to be sitting comfortably in a 10 foot <laughs> circle. And uh, I can make it dark so we don't have to see what's going to happen. We're, we'll be safe. Uh, Is that a nice and So here? you cast the hut. And it's Fuck. literally as you finish, the hut appears, everyone's inside. You see the front of the other ship hit right about where the splotch was, but it wasn't actually aiming for the splotch, unfortunately. And as you see it hit, you see some of the wood splinter, and then you notice that the splintering stops, and there's a blue force field over the entirety of the ship. Marguerite. You watch as the other ship, like it hits, and instead of continuing down, it folds over and falls over the side. And after it falls over the side, you start to see your ship falling down. Like you're, you can see, like, oh shit, we're going down. Oh, because of the fucking tethers, right? The tethers were holding you up. Question. Yes. Oh, they were holding us up. Okay, but are they dragging us down now, too? Is my no, question. the tethers are no longer attached. Oh, oh okay. We, All right. We need to get, we need to get uh, Jeff back in. Okay. Who is injured? Well, our ship still floats, so we're, it's not... No, you know, it's not. not floating. It, they were holding us up. No, no, no. I mean, it floats in the water. Yeah, yeah but we're not... You're assuming we're over water. <laughs> we're in, we're in midair, though, so... We're really high in the air. Uh, good old buoyancy metal. 
And this you... is when Vandal pulls out the hourglass. <laughs> Let's go, guys. You are. So what's the surface tension of water? <laughs> <laughs> so you're falling, and you notice that like the hut's staying put. You're in the hut. You have that feeling of like gravity, like when you're in an elevator. So like that weird oh, like. Yep. Our it's like Spelljammer <laughs> camp. <laughs> you feel the boat hit something, and everything goes black for everybody. And that's where we're gonna end for tonight. Thanks for watching this dysfunctional D&D presentation of the War for Garaxia. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to keep up with the Guardians of Garaxia and a ton more. Homebrewed just for you.